The NavVol ID knob is short for Navigation Volume Identifier knob and is located in the top left corner of the Primary Flight Display, or PFD, and also the top left corner of the Multifunction Display, or MFD. The ability to press in the knob to turn off and on the Morse code identifier does not appear to work in this simulator, so I will not demonstrate that portion. I can still demonstrate the Morse code identifier and volume features and we'll do that with an example. Using SkyVector, we have a section of a VFR chart showing two VORs. The Hallsville VOR with frequency 114.2 and the Macon VOR with frequency 112.9. I set NAV1 to the Hallsville VOR frequency and NAV2 to the Macon VOR frequency. If you want to hear the sound of the Morse code for the frequency set in NAV1, make sure you have pressed the NAV1 key, which is located between the PFD and MFD. You will see a white arrow above the key come on. If you want to hear the sound of the Morse code for the frequency set in NAV2, make sure you have pressed the NAV2 key and again the white arrow will come on. Also, you have to be within range and line of sight of the VOR in order to receive the frequency in the first place. To learn more in depth about VORs, please reference the series of videos starting with VOR Navigation Part 1. The NAV1 button is on and notice the Morse code you hear corresponds with what is on the chart for the Hallsville VOR. Now we turn on the NAV2 button and turn off the NAV1 button. Notice the Morse code you hear corresponds with what is on the chart for the Macon VOR. To increase the volume to hear the Morse code better, turn the Navol ID knob to the right. To decrease the sound, turn the knob to the left. Notice as you turn the knob right or left, you will see a volume percentage display corresponding to whichever nav option you currently have selected. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.